Hello YouTube. Today we're sharpening our Mora knife. This is the heavy duty companion carbon steel 8 inch thick on the spine. Uh, we've been looking for a lot of videos. We've had this knife for a couple years. We're blowing out our camera again. And we just put it away. We used our work sharp. Sharpener has like the little belt sander. Those of you who watch my videos, they remember that sharpener. And I used a polishing belt just to polish, try to polish an edge on this because this is called a Scandi grind. It's kind of an odd knife. Uh, I figured out what I'm putting on here is about 10 degrees. I bought this cheapy little thing at Harbor Freight. It had a little brass, neat little brass thumb little thing here in the middle to tighten it. Well, I got it all that junk. I got it down to, I'll snap a picture of that. I just used it as a guessel meter, okay? We're going to take this out because we're ready to do the other side. And we've got this mark with Sharpie marker back here. We've got it marked the center of the blade. So the knife goes in the same way. Don't fumble on the camera. We could not use that little metal thing that goes across here just to as thick as the blade is. Okay. What we did to determine this, might be hard to explain, is we used that. Get up here. We use this line as the center line of, like, say, the blade. And then we eyeballed it, looked across. It came out to be about 10 degrees. It's sure not 20, because I really lowered this side, which brings it this way. Because if you go like this, you'll put more of a steep angle. I want a thin angle. So... I actually went, cause wait, that, it gets confusing to me, so, uh, if you was up like this, it wouldn't be as thin. If you're down like this, it's thinner, so, we're actually down where we're not level. Cause we did guess that this thing sets about 20 degrees when it's in here, okay. Uh, we're gonna show you the side if you can see it. This is really untouched, just take, taken to a really fine polishing belt. Uh, I have some hanging around here somewhere, you've seen them. They're just for polishing in the work sharp. This is the edge I'm putting on it, if you could see it. See how wide it is? Usually the wider that looks, the thinner it is. Because this knife is very thin. It goes out to a really thin, great for wood carving, great for, oh, you cut your steak with it, of course. But I bought it for a work knife for carving, because they're cheap. This probably was under 20 bucks. I might have had some points or coupon or something on Amazon, so don't quote me on the price. But and I don't get paid to show anything. I always put that in the description. But these are nice work knife. Now, this is the carbon steel which will rust. I just put oil or like lip balm. Chapstick type stuff on here when I store it away. And it's been in my backpack for since I bought my backpack. I did rummage around and find it in the bottom of it. And it was halfway sharp. I just want to do a better job on it. Okay. So we act about enough. We'll bring you back when it's done and then we'll show you. Like I said, I marked where the center was, where I have it in there, where I guess it's about a four inch blade. And marked where this thing sets at. Right down there with a sharpie marker. So, you've all seen this enough. You don't need to see any more about that. But, I'll show you this. Okay. Ain't that nice. You need an extra in the video today. My longtime subscribers remember this. This is one of them funky 70s grape lights. I seen a bluey screen one in a flea market store. They wanted $150 for the thing. Probably because it was prettier than this color. But what I did was I just drilled three different times. I'll show that one Sunday in a shop video. So I drilled three different sizes. So I have smaller than what the bolt was that goes in there. I have the size of what I thought it would be if you were threading metal. And then I had a bigger hole towards that way for clearance. So I could shove it in there before I started threading it. And I threaded this on a bolt. And it was warm. But the time I got done cranking this down on there, it felt warm. You could feel the bolt with your fingers. It felt warm because I was really a cranking and a twisting. And this is some funky plastic whatever. But that's just brown primer that cured overnight. And when you take a rag to it, it will shine up. Now eventually it's going to wear off. So that was a flat paint, but it looks like wood. I didn't have no flat black. So there you go. Uh, that said, the videos get longer in the wintertime. I'm trapped in the 
in the shop out here in the cold. So stay tuned. We'll bring you back when we get the knife done. Okay, we're going to see how good this yellow blows out the camera. Okay, we're on our last stone. We used uh, 320 and 600. Okay, and this stone is like a mystery stone. This is not rough like 120. This is smoother than the uh, 600 and about as rough, rough as the 320. It's weird. I do not know what it is. It does not work that good either. This is the 1500. Okay, here's how we're finishing our final. Like that. I had to put my gloves on to film because I can't work with them on. And my hands are filthy. This gray sledge that comes off this carbon knife. So you get an idea. And this ball works so good. We'll show you why. Watch how quick I can unload the stone. You can't do that with that handle. So that was a plus on the mod there. So that'll wear off eventually. You'll start seeing that color underneath. Okay, we're going to pause get this out and we're going to show you the difference. Uh, we've been scrubbing uh, our stones with this and soapy water. That's all we're using is soapy water and oil. And we're going to show you one side where we buff the edge with the scrub pad. And it blends right in. You can't you can't tell. You can't see it and then see an edge come down. You'll see it when I show this side. So hang in there. We'll get this video done. Okay, we'll get you up close and personal. Let's see which works better. Kind of about the same. Uh, you can see the edge there. I know you can. You can see the difference between find a pointer. I don't have a pointer. This will work. My battery's getting low. You can see the edge right here. See? You can see that. But when you buff it with the green scotch pad, it just disappears. You can barely read more knife. Like I said, this is a carbon steel companion heavy duty with an eighth of an inch spline. Uh, I watched the guy, believe it or not. I find the name just <laughs> escapes me. He chopped down a four inch tree with this thing. It looked like a beaver. He had to go two different ways. But he chopped down a four inch diameter tree with this knife. There you go. Wanted to show you what it looks like. I wish you could see it up close. We will try to take an up close picture. Because this came. Thing, I watched the video. It might be hard to find. Uh, actual man from the factory at a knife show. He was explaining how this almost comes down to a zero bevel whatever. Right, the whole scientific whatever. Uh, there's not really a micro edge. Some knives, when you buy them, the cheap knives, they'll put a real, real fine edge on there. Okay, just off of it. And then once that's wore, it's just too steep of a knife. But uh, we're gonna try one thing before we get out of here. See if you can see that. See how that goes down? Almost nothing. Candy a grind for people who've never seen one of these. I said this needs scrubbed and clean, really nice and comfortable. I mean, you I did a lot of whittling. I'll make a video someday, maybe whittling on a maple stick or something. But there you go. Thanks for watching. We'll try to get some shots of the side of the blade where I scrubbed it. You'll see some scratches, it's going to get worse with a scrub pad, and then you'll see the side without it. So you can kind of see what the edge looks like. So thanks for watching. We're out of here. We've had enough.